Hi, I'm Navin. We are from Gokaraju Rangaraju Institute of Engineering and Technology. We have done a project on text mining classification using dysentery algorithm under the guidance of Dr. K. Anuradha. My batchmates are D. Kanakaraju, K. Shivkan, G. Sudhir. Introduction to text mining. Text data mining is equivalent to text analytics. Since it is the process of deriving high quality information from text, High quality information. It is a typically derived from statistical pattern learning. Text mining is an important research field because of the necessity of obtaining knowledge from the enormous data of text document available, especially on web. Text mining and data mining both include in the field of information mining. Data mining deals with structured data, whereas text presents special characteristics and it is unstructured data. Text mining usually involves the process of structuring the input text deriving patterns within the structured data and finally evaluating the interpretation of the Text classification predicts categorical class labels, classified data based on the training set and the values mainly class labels. Classification different from prediction. It constructs a set of models that describe and distinguish data classes or concepts whereas the latter is to predict some missing or unavailable data. Their similarity is that they are both tools for prediction. Classification is used for prediction the class label of data objects and prediction typically used for the predicting missing numerical data values. Text classification is also known as text categorization, document classification, document categorization. Classification process. In the classification process, the classifier extracts the data set from the database and ap applies the appropriate algorithm and produce the perfect output from the database. Mainly text classification involves three phases text preprocessing implementation and visualization text preprocessing the text preprocessing involves the optimizing the performance of next phase filtration it mainly involves the removing of stoppers stemming involves the removing of prefixes and suffixes and finally applying the boolean vector for classification implementation this step involves developing of finite data from statistical data simply applying the algorithm to develop the classification Visualization. The extracted rules can be viewed in the textual format or tables or in a graphical format. In this way, the system is designed to visualize the extracted rules in the textual format or a tables or a tree format. Classification methods. There are mainly three types of classification methods. Decent tree indu induction, Bayesian classification, backpropagation. Decent tree induction develops the tree format data. Bayesian classification produces the appropriate uh, probability values. Classification by decentry induction. Decentry, it is a flowchart like structure. Internal node denotes a test on an attribute. Branch represents an outcome of test. And decentry generate rules. Attribute measures mainly entropy and information gain. Why decentry? Decentry can be easily understood. A rule is a conditional statement that can be easily understood by humans or easily used within a database to identify a set of records. It can be easily implemented. Easy implementation for large dataset when compared to other classification algorithm. It is relatively faster learning speed than others. It can use SQL query for accessing database. Comparable classification accuracy with other methods. Decision tree explanation. It is an example dataset which contains five attributes outlook, temperature, humidity, wind and plate tennis. Let's start building with the decision tree from the start. In this table, firstly we have to select any one of the attributes. Let us say humidity. In humidity there are two types, high and normal. Under the high, D1, D2, D3, D4, D8, D12 and D14. Under the normal conditions, D5, D6, D7, D9, D10, D11, D13. Now choose any one of the subset and in the high or normal. For example, we are considering the high. Under the high, we have to choose with the another attribute. Let us say wind. Under the high, under the high and under the attribute wind, there are mainly two types, strong and weak. Under the strong, D2, D12, D14. And under the weak, D11, D1, D3, D4 and D8. And same as uh, wind, now we have to consider the another attribute, say, let us say outlook. Under the outlook, there are mainly three types, no, sunny, rain, overcast. Now the left subtree has finished. After the left subtree finished, as a binary search tree, we have to go to the right subtree. Now, considering the in the weak attribute of wind, outlook, it also contains three attributes, sunny, rain, overcast. After this, the left subtree has finished, and the, as being as the humidity as a root node, and it's styled as an outlook, it also has three modules, sunny, rainy, and overcast. 
finally classify subset of d5 d6 d10 by wind under the wind there are mainly two types strong and weak and it has a leaf load has no and yes now decision tree has developer the root node is humidity and the both parent nodes are wind outlook and the sub sub parents are outlook outlook and wind and the child nodes are no no yes these are the child this is the tree which is generated by the decision tree quality of decision tree accuracy accuracy is the correctness of the decision tree size size it is it is the size required by the decision tree to develop the tree complexity it is the size of the tree after maintaining the quality and this is the output tree which has been generated by using the attributes such as entropy and information entropy an entropy is a measure of disorder or randomness in a closed system in our system we have nine positions and five negative examples and this is the algorithm which has been uh, derived for this output these are the uh, algorithm and information gain we can represent the entropy of our system when we use the attribute as temperature we define gain as difference between the entropy and system before the split and expected entropy of system both information gain and entropy are used for calculating the decision tree output decision tree induction algorithm this is the decision tree al induction algorithm which we have applied for this decision tree advantages of decision tree growing a decision tree splitting into multiple modules preventing overfitting representing the knowledge in the form of if then else rules and the leaf node hold the class prediction advantages of decision tree classification technique have been applied to spam filtering a process which tries to discrete email spam messages for legitimate emails topic spotting automatically determining the topic of a text email routing language identification general classification thank you for viewing this ppt now i'll show the execution of the actual program this is the code which we have written for this algorithm and firstly i would like to show this database this is the sample database which contains the several fields and attributes and data set now firstly we are running this data now it prompts for the enter the location of input file i am giving the input location is executed successfully now it prompts for the location of file to write the output i am giving it as e a s the output of written to the file successfully these are the two files which has been obtained from the execution of that code This is the code which has been generated that is used for to develop that decision tree. This is the decision tree which has been obtained from the output. Actually, we used the graphic with software that is that converts the normal output into the this graphical format. This is the output of the our program. now let me explain this uh, output if the outlook is the uh, overcast then uh, then the play can be yes and if the outlook is sunny and if the humidity is normal then the play can be yes and if the outlook is humidity then we can consider and if the outlook is sunny then we have to only consider the humidity and it is regardless of temperature and other windy something then we it is we can only consider the hum and if outlook is sunny humidity i is high then the play is results no and if the outlook is the rainy then um, then it need, it need not to be considered any other uh, variable such as temperature humidity overcast all other etc only windy if high or true based on this result only the the tennis can be play or yes or no